All right, so here we uh, are solving for a reactant using a chemical equation. It's almost the same thing as our last topic, except it's a little different. We're dealing with masses of substances now. So we know that this being stoichiometry, our first step is to build a chemical equation and then ensure that it's balanced. So what are our reactants here? Well, it says photosynthesis is a chemical reaction in which water and carbon dioxide react. So we have water. Uh, reacting with carbon dioxide. So they then indicate, look at water, carbon dioxide, gas. So we're going to omit the state of matter here. We'll just write the substances like that. And it produces, uh, we have glucose, uh, simple sugar glucose, C6H12O6, and oxygen gas. So they said oxygen gas. So let's put, let's put a gas state there. And this will be gas there as well. We'll go ahead and put it there. All right, so here's our chemical equation. Here are our reactants. Here are our products. Let's go ahead and balance this. If you need more practice on balancing, I'll just go back and work the, the balancing chemical equations topic in Alex. Um, we know uh, if, you are, if you have good practice with balancing, that your coefficient should be that. And if you check it, it is indeed balance. So here is our starting point for stoichiometry. You have your balanced chemical equation. So next, let's see where we are starting. 7.8 grams of water. Okay, so we have 7.8 grams of water, and they want us to know what mass of glucose, how many grams of glucose is produced from 7.8 grams of water. So we haven't yes, in, yet introduced the concept of a limiting reactant. So we're assuming that we have plenty of carbon dioxide and excess of carbon dioxide to react with this 7.8 grams of water. With 7.8 grams of water and plenty of CO2, how much glucose will we be able to make before all of the water runs out and the reaction stops? That is what we are trying to find out. So we are going to convert from a, an amount of water to an amount of glucose, okay? So we're converting from this to this, essentially. And we know to convert from one substance to another, we're going to use the mole ratio from the balanced uh, chemical equation. So we're going to use that coefficient and that coefficient as a mole ratio. Six moles of water are consumed to produce one mole of glucose. So let's begin our conversion. We have 7.8 grams of water. Can I put in my mole ratio right now? No, I cannot. Because the only way to convert from one substance to another in stoichiometry using the mole ratio is I have to have moles. This reads six moles of water are consumed to produce one mole of glucose. Right now I have 7.8 grams of water. So I need to convert this to moles before I can put in my coefficients in the mole ratio. So what is the molar mass of water? We need to get the moles of water. We've done this uh, many times. And so 18.2 grams of water is one mole of H2O. Now I have moles of water. Now that we're at moles of water, Let's convert to moles of glucose using the coefficients from the balance equation. Six moles of water. Six moles of water goes at the bottom because of moles of water here in the numerator. Six moles of water uh, produce one mole of C6H12O6. Well, we're not done yet. Because they want an amount of glucose, but they want a mass of glucose, not moles of glucose. So we need one more conversion factor, which has in it the molar mass of glucose. The molar mass of glucose is equal to its molecular weight, uh, and the molar mass of glucose is 180 point, uh, so molar mass of glucose is 180.15588 grams per mole. And the, the way we 
find that. We've done this. Also, this is another piece that we've worked on. It's the atomic mass of six carbon atoms plus the atomic mass of 12 hydrogen atoms plus the atomic mass of six oxygen atoms total will give us this value. And the units for molar mass is grams per mole. So one mole of glucose has a mass of 180.15588 grams of glucose. Look at our units. Grams of glucose. Is that what they're asking us for? Yes, this is our end point. This was our starting point. Here's our end point. So I can stop now. I just need to do the math. So 7.8 times 1 over 18.02, close parentheses, open parentheses, 1 over 6, close, open parentheses, 180.15588 over 1, close parentheses. I put it into my calculator exactly how I see it here. To simplify, I get 12.9968 grams of glucose. They want us to round to two significant digits. So this would be 13 grams of C6H12O6. How do we interpret this? If I have 7.8 grams of water to start, then I end up with 13 grams of glucose. All of the water is used up, the reaction stops, and this is what I have 